Jinnah was also a British trained lawyer like Gandhi. While Gandhi went on to South Africa, Jinnah returned to India and became an important activist in a number of organizations uh, that were taking on a nationalist position vis-a-vis -vis British colonial rule. The most important of those was, of course, the Indian National Congress, in which he was a leader um, and an important voice and he was considered a very important voice, particularly for uh, making arguments for Hindu-Muslim unity. Muslims formed a substantial minority in the Indian subcontinent. About a third of India's population was made up of Muslims. Um, and uh, he argued that this section must work alongside Hindus. There had to be unity for the nationalist. Uh, platform to be strong. However, when Gandhi returned to uh, India from his uh, uh, political mobilizations in South Africa, he uh, in the 1920s uh, uh, started a mass mobilization of which Jinnah was very critical. Jinnah felt that Gandhi was mobilizing religious symbols in creating mass mobilization and that religious symbols would prove divisive. Jinnah ended up leaving politics, but he later returned to become the leader of a political party called the Muslim League, which sought to represent the interests of this Muslim minority in the Indian subcontinent. 